There are a few rare people who manage to live by their own rules. Some do it by evil and tyranny. Some do it through spirituality and compassion. And some do it by simply refusing to take life too seriously. In the late 1940s in Live Oak, Florida, Neil Watson joined the human race. And we haven't been quite the same since. In more than 40 years in the dive industry, Neil has brought attention to himself and diving time and again in colourful ways. His franchise, Neil Watson's Undersea Adventures, serves thousands of divers annually in six different Caribbean locations. Among his legendary exploits, Neil set a scuba compressed air depth record of 437 feet in 1968. After proving he's not intimidated by depth, in 1975, Neil demonstrated he's not afraid of widths either by swimming 66 miles underwater non-stop. If you think that shark cage means he is intimidated by sharks, guess again. Much of the attention Neil has brought to diving involves sharks, working with sharks and diving with sharks. Besides Penthouse magazine, I only get it because I like the articles. He grabbed a national audience attention in a segment of ABC's 2020. Normally a shark won't just come up and attack you anyhow. The shark will circle, it'll come in, it'll make passes. If it's really curious, it'll, it'll get in with it four or five feet. And then normally it'll even bump you before it actually bites you. Of course, Neil knows that there's more to life than diving. Like setting a world record by flying 100 miles over open ocean in a gyrocopter. Neil shows us that you can do almost anything if you have the heart for it. Well, or the head for it. For those who don't understand living like this, no one but Neil can explain it better, as he did when he was inducted into the Broward County Sports Hall of Fame. Probably the most asked question I've had over the years is, you know, why do you do the stuff that you do? And you know, it's amazing because I only have to answer that to adults because, I mean, children instinctively know the answer to this. The answer is, I just never wanted to give up and grow up and lose that, that thrill, okay? And if, if, I could leave, if I could leave everybody with any advice tonight, it would be, you know, don't take this being a grown-up too serious, okay? <laughs> you know, um, you know, turn off the TV, shut down that computer, and whether it's scuba diving, whether it's skydiving, whether it's rollerblading, whether it's golf, whatever it is, go out and find something that brings back, you know, that, that childhood excitement in life that makes you want to live, you know, because you'll be a much happier person. Neil, your feats are legendary. You've taught celebrities to dive and put diving on national television. You've turned the public's attention to diving time and again. And your resorts introduce and popularise diving with thousands. But what makes you one of diving's prominent ambassadors is that everyone who meets you can't help but like you. Congratulations on your 2005 Reaching Out Award.